Hello, my name is uh, Brady Kellner, also known as Ziggy Sawdust, and I organize this whole event here at Art Firm Gallery uh, called Politically Incorrect, and all the proceeds will be benefiting Amnesty International and the Brothers Brother Foundation. My name is Seth Leibowitz, owner of Art Form Gallery and Tattoo. Uh, I've been hosting shows at Art Form Gallery since we've opened about five and a half years ago. The piece I made for the show, I work, uh, I do wood carving, and the piece that I did is I carved um, out of one solid slab of basswood. Um, the frame has um, handcuffs and shackles going the whole way along the border of it with a fingerprint in the middle and um, an eye peeking through a keyhole at the side. And the center and the, the central focus, the subject, is a bunch of hands reaching up to the sky, very loose looking anonymous hands. The reason that I left them very undetailed and plain was to really get the uh, kind of sense of isolation that you have as a prisoner, which is essentially what the entire piece is about. It's about the prison industrial complex. And so whenever you start really dehumanizing people to the point where you are just waiting for them to make mistakes so you can, you know, essentially keep your overhead low for a business and be able to make more money off them and profit off their mistakes, you know, that really ceases to have any sort of humanity at all. It's um, essentially devaluing people, debase them to the, um, strictly just their hands and what they can offer you with their hands and nothing else, taking away their entire indiv individuality and every last uh, little bit of humanity they have left. The piece I had in the show tonight um, invokes an emotion in a lot of people that see it. It's a child standing in a corner with handprints all over his back. And it's called uh, know, Thy, know Thy Boundaries. And what it's basically representing uh, the children in Serbia, little gypsy children, uh, been abused, uh, put, to, put to work for uh, basically for begging, for the soliciting them for sex, and basically if they don't make enough money, if they don't do what they're supposed to do, they're basically beat, arms broken, eyeballs gouged out. So the people that they're begging to feel more compassion and give them more money. It's also, it's, it's kind of like run by the mafia in a way. You know, it's, it's a huge network and they're using children for this. And there is laws that are in place, but please just ignore it. It's, it's, it's not a big deal. It's something that's known and something that's ignored at the same time. Uh, to me, it's pretty touching because I think children are the future, and if we're going to exploit and use these children for this, then what kind of future do we expect for ourselves? Well, the show to me, it's been something that I've been wanting to do for quite a number of years now. I've uh, always really liked Amnesty International and the work they do specifically. They provide something that a lot of other nonprofit groups really don't provide, and that is the ability to be able to um, actually engage on a level that doesn't require just a financial donation. This show in particular means a lot to me uh, in here because every day we get caught up in our own stuff. My coffee is too hot. Oh, my coffee is too cold. You know, uh, I, I stubbed my toe or I missed my show on TV tonight. Well, you know, this is all bullshit. <laughs> You know, we get worried, we're so distracted by the things that don't mean anything. And to have a show based on human rights is making awareness that other places in the world, people are going through some messed up stuff. And, you know, while we're here drinking our lattes, thinking that, you know, Jersey Shore is the thing that we should all be watching, well, uh, maybe that's a little bit dated. But, <laughs> uh, but, you know, keeping up with the Kardashians is what people are keeping up with. They're not keeping up with the, the tragedy in Fukushima, you know, the, the band Pussy Riot in, in Russia, or, you know, people with genocide all over the world. People unable to even speak their mind, you know, to be free to do things that humans are supposed to be doing. And to have this show hopefully brings awareness and makes enough money for the people that are trying to bring awareness. I want to thank all the artists for being so kind to donate their work and to donate their time and energy and to really supporting such a wonderful cause. I've been, I've, I felt very privileged to be working with all these people who are, you know, who do care as much as I do and are willing to, you know,
take an opportunity to help people. And so I really can't express my thanks to the artists that have made this all happen because you know it was it was just an idea that I had. And they actually made it happen. So I couldn't have done it without them.